guys, this is Judy from YNC Comics and it is Milko time! But previously at the latest LA Comic Con... Yes, the good Sharpie that you're ruining for me. So I got signatures from John Romita Jr. And if you didn't know, his father created some of the art and this one right here. But I got first appearance of the goblin signed by him. This is our work. And the first appearance of the red goblin. And we're gonna send him to the CGC. So here we are making money. Alright, as you saw that, I got the opportunity to meet John Ramita Jr. And that was really awesome. Besides being an awesome experience, I also got the CGC to witness a signature. And I was able to submit a couple of comic books that, that at that Comic Con. So, the time has come and I want to check out these books. They came back a while ago and I just took a while to open in them but I want to share this moment with you guys so let's find out what grade I got and uh, I also got this comic book signed at that convention but did not submit it to the CGC and that's because this one is also just more for sentimental value I have Amazing Spider-Man number 122 it's the death of Gwen Stacy but uh, John Romita Sr. worked on this comic book and John uh, and John Romita Jr. was the one who signed it. And I just wanted him to sign it because, I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, the son continues the legacy of the father in uh, other Amazing Spider-Man comic, com uh, comic books. So, this is sentimental value. I did not submit it to the CGC. I want to keep this one for myself. And, well, let's find out what's in this box. So the moment of truth is here. Let me share with you the comics I submitted and the grade I got from the CGC. And of course, here's Amazing Spider-Man 800 with a 9.6. Hey, not too shabby, yeah. It's really nice. Uh, and John Romita signature. Woohoo! And seriously, I got a 2.0 on Amazing Spider-Man 238. It is signed by John Romina Jr. And I'm disappointed on this 2.0. But I made a huge mistake, guys. I actually... I'm like... Oh. I actually have another copy of the same comic book. And when the convention was happening and I found out who was coming, I went through my comic books and just pulled one of two. I did not pay attention to which one I was taking and um, obviously this one is in way better condition when you submit to the CGC they look at everything in your comic book they look at the corners they look at the spine of the book they look at the back of the book they look at everything they look at inside the book to see if there's anything um, if there's any doodles or anything like that anything missing anything ripped 
Well, my friends, in this little label right here, it says tattoos insert missing. Incomplete in big capital letters. And that's probably why I got a big fat 2.0 instead of a, a bigger, a, a higher grade. But I started thinking about this one. This one is a better condition. Maybe I would have gotten a 4.0 because I mean, the spine is in really good shape. The corners are really nice. It doesn't look as yellow as the other one in, in regards to the coloring of the cover. But I started wondering about the tattoo and the insert. So I opened the book and I started going one page by one. Sometimes I just read them and then I just put them aside and I think about whether I want to submit or not. So I, when I read this insert missing, I thought, huh, what insert? And I started looking at this one and guess what? It's also missing the tattoo. So either way, I would have not gotten a 6.0 or whatever in my little head I dream of because I am missing a page, my friends. <laughs> so anyway, I am disappointed at 2.0, but I am not disappointed on getting the signature and added it to my uh, my collection. And who knows? Maybe I'll find Mrs. Spider-Man 238 with the insert. You just never know what you're gonna find out there. That's the fun about these conventions and the fun about submitting it to the CGC because you find out what you have and what you don't have. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? This is my little box. This was at LA Comic Con and. I am so excited that Comic Cons are coming back. We're gonna get more items submitted. We're gonna get to meet more artists and writers and get into the fun of dressing up and making more videos for you. So don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And in case you didn't know, we now have a website where we're selling our, com our comics. We have a couple of collections and a couple of duplicates of some comics. So we're putting it out there for sale at www.yncomics.com. So if you're interested, check it out. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at YNC Comics. Until next time.